Even when it's sunny in Lyons, Colorado, Bunny Fowl checks her rain gauge. I think there's something kind of exciting about collecting information that would, you know, if you co collect it for enough years, it, it represents um, climate data. Fowl was checking two years ago during historic storms and floods. The night when the flooding began, there was about three and three quarter inches of rain that fell here in my yard that day. Today, it's snowing. I have to melt this down and see the water content which she shares online with weather scientists. They mostly want me to enter two things, so the water content of the snow, which was four one hundredths, and the new snowfall, which was three tenths. On the web, Fowl's Dot in Colorado joins thousands throughout the nation, posted by other backyard weather watchers. Also online are training videos for this project, known as Coco Ross. Coco Ross, the community, collaborative, rain, hail, and snow network, is made up of thousands of people, just like you, mapping and measuring rain and snow as it falls from the sky. Coco Ross supporters include meteorologist Matt Kelsch, who coordinates a two-county region of 200 volunteers. Citizens can get a tremendous amount of information about rain and snow that falls or rain and snow that doesn't fall. And certainly it benefits the meteorological community, like the community I am in, but it also greatly benefits hydrologists, water resource managers. As for why local measurements are needed, Kelsch says consider snow. You could get two feet of snow on one side of town and very little on another. There are four official National Weather Service sites in his two-county region, Kelsch says, and they're too far apart to account for local variations. Fortunately, his volunteers send in a wealth of data from many different sites. On a typical rainy or snowy day, we could get 100 reports from Kokoraz in the two-county area. Radar and satellite data don't provide accurate on-the-ground detail, according to the founder of Kokoraz, Colorado State climatologist Nolan Deskin. But he says the science is improving, thanks in part to Kokoraz. We can then improve the relationships between what we're seeing from space or from a remote transmitter and relating it to what's happening at our point in our town, our city, our county, our state. With over 20,000 active volunteers, Kokoraz is the largest provider of daily precipitation observations in the U.S. Still, Deskin says there's room for more. If we had one citizen to do a measurement in every square mile of the entire country, it wouldn't be too many. To map even more weather in more locations, Kokoraz is now in most of the Canadian provinces, Puerto Rico, and soon the U.S. Virgin Islands. The Puerto Rico materials are in English and Spanish. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender.